Welcome back, everyone. This is your host, Jordan, with Conquering Trading Investing, and we're getting ready right now for our weekly Forex forecast for November 25th through the 29th. Let's get started. Now, we do have a nice week ahead of us with a lot going on in the markets because we're going to see some nice follow through early in the week. But keep in mind, we do have in the US Thanksgiving holiday on the 28th of December, Thursday. Also, big day in the markets. At the close of Friday, we have the Chinese manufacturing PMI, which will be a big number for the market to kick off the following week. Uh, that's the biggest headline number to watch out. Let's get into the charts. Let's look at the technicals. Let's see what's going on. By the way, if you haven't already joined us, we live stream every day at nine o'clock in the morning Eastern time for the New York session. We are looking for setups for swing trades, trading off of the daily eight hour time frame. We are also replaying those throughout the day. You could catch up with the first 20 minutes, half hour of the live stream on the replay whenever you can and it will keep you in the flow of the market. Let's get started. Uh, we're gonna start off with the Euro US dollar and you could see that we now after rejecting this resistance red line up here, we're now resuming downwards and now we're able to draw in this channel and we're use this as a guide. And we're gonna use this as a guide to look to take profits in, Gus. Uh, we were able late in the week on Thursday and Friday to get short here. Uh, again, following the live stream, you'll be aware of those. Uh, follow the replay. Follow the replay if you can't be with us. Right now what we're looking to do is, and you should be looking, first of all, if you're long this pair, you're just dead wrong. The, the trend is down. There's no reason to be long the euro US dollar right now. You'll have another opportunity if we test down here to get long. Right now, what you're looking to do is we're looking to see how price reacts around this green level right here, this level of support. Uh, but probably and hopefully we're going to get a chance to take profit down in this area off this lower lower channel trend line support. And that will be an opportunity perhaps to get long this pair. But until then, we're sticking with the trade. It fell, the dollar really firmed up on Friday. That was because of positive numbers uh, out of the US as well as some really mixed results out of Europe. Next, we have gold. Let's take a look at XAU US dollar because this is also a trade that is wound up to be falling into favor right now as the US dollar firms up. Looks like the US is on hold on rate cuts and you can see Hey, listen, we could probably draw in a channel over here to the downside to use to take profit, but we have this blue zone here, which is a buy zone, and that's also where we'll be looking to take profit on this trade right now. Let's take a look at it on the eight hour time frame. So again, walking you through it, we had this resistance line drawn in. We're not looking to get long gold unless price, unless the bulls are able to take it back above this line, at which point the true trend will also be positive and we will be looking for some nice longs up in this area. But until then, we've taken the, the cells over here, the sell signal we had over here on Thursday and we're now holding this trade. It's fallen into profit about $8, but hopefully we're gonna get some continuation early in this week, Monday into Tuesday at least. And the first look we're gonna have is all the way down here, all the way down uh, at about $1,448. And that's the area we're gonna be looking to take profit. Zoom out a little bit. If that area breaks, if price kind of gushes through here, then we have what looks like a very nice trade on our hands and we will look to take profit much lower. Uh, again, all you need to do is spend 15, 20 minutes a day watching the first portion of the live stream on the replay. And if you're not able to be there with us and you will be able to stay updated day to day with the flow of the market, you don't need to be in front of your screen all the time. That's not what you got into trading for. You got into trading for freedom. Trade smart, stick with us. Let's take a look now at the US dollar Japanese yen. And this one's a little tough, right? We're in a long trade right here. We're playing this rising wedge. You could see it right here in the daily really well. Uh, you could see we've had some penetrations below this rising wedge, but price never closed below it. And right here, we're kind of close to it, right? This is really discretionary. Now, we have some stop losses in right over here at 108.20. And if those are taken out, this pattern has failed. For sure, we're definitely gonna be looking for some really further momentum here to the downside. But right now, 
right now this is holding up and we have a good chance uh depending on whether or not we get any gaps on the open tomorrow uh never know what's going to happen over in asia any headlines that come in that give any bad signals for the for the trade war this could offset any trades going on right now but until proven wrong until our stops are taken out over here we're looking for the resumption right here off of this rising wedge trend line support back towards the upside and hopefully we do get that early in the week right now you can see each time you get towards the support here on the trail it's tough it's never easy and that's back where we are right now but we are staying technically with our trade and hopefully we get some further momentum we we tested to the upside early in the new york session on the positive pmi numbers on friday but gave back those gains and we closed almost right where we opened for the day that's kind of a lot of uncertainty and that's continuing to play out the reason that we're still holding the long here is because we're playing it technically off of this support here and we know we're wrong if this level gets taken out down here then we're dead wrong we will be looking for shorts at that point until then we are playing this rising wedge and we're playing this test of the lower trend line so look out for this one and see how this develops actually on the opening of asia on monday morning our us dollar canadian dollar this is one that we're going to have to watch closely going early into next week we're going to have to be watching this one and see what happens you could this is actually starting to really turn bullish over here i know we have our sell zone up here right now and our overhead resistance so that's why we're going to be watching it closely let's look on the eight hour here all right now what we do have happened here and we missed this trade i missed this trade this was probably one of the best trades of the week except for the euro us dollar that we got into and it was right down here earlier in the week and price was testing the support area that we already had drawn in we had our nice criteria here with the true trend positive and the entry cci pulled back off of support should have got into this trade didn't i just drawn in this trend line recently you could see it going all the way back there and then price was made a successful test of support here now the interesting thing is that the canadian dollar was firming up on friday ever since the bank of canada said that they are going to lay off rate cuts for a while and just keep policy steady on hold uh, but you see the us dollar really now making a move here testing off that support there was an entry to take possibly late in the day on friday don't like to take entries in the afternoon of new york going into the weekend so that's why we're going to watch what happens here if we get a break above this congestion zone over here there's a big move in store that's what we're really going to be looking to get long the us dollar canadian dollar but right now you have to see that it looks like the us dollar is making some some we have three weeks here of the us dollar making moves the question is what happens up here does it does it run into this overhead resistance and roll over or is it the momentum going to keep carrying through and we're going to get a breakout over here so it's too soon to make a call on this is one that we need to watch as it develops during the week so we're going to come back to this one all right on the euro japanese yen we are getting to a nice critical point over here you can see here that we have this lower we have this lower support of this channel that we're currently in and you over here we have this lighter end of the channel here the reason we have that is here because this goes down to the wick and over here we had some penetration right now the upper end is being uh is being respected and supported we have right our stop loss is we're long this pair coming off this support over here we're hoping to get a resumption back up into this channel which could provide some nice opportunity we have our risk capped right below this support here at 11920 we will be breaking to the downside of the channel if our stop is hit we'll break we're broken out of this channel and we do expect some strong yen strength at that point until then we are playing off of this channel pattern that is developing we're trading off of support right now we actually have double support you see this red line over here of the support going back to here resistance 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 so hopefully this holds a support right now we have the, the support of this line and this trend line right here again if our stops are taken out if we trade below 119.18 uh, we're going to be looking to the downside and we're wrong in this trade if not we are looking at our first take profit area at this resistance up here at 121.16 and we're going to see how price reacts up there 
Let's see what happens early in the week and what develops. Let's take a look on the eight hour just to get a better look. And we're, and we're just at this critical area right now. That's all, we're at this critical area. We have the momentum to the downside. It's what's gonna happen right here. I do suspect we find out early in Asia on the opening, we're going into the London session. We should know by New York what has happened. So check back in on this one and we're gonna watch and see how this develops further. All right, let's check in with our good friend, the Australian dollar, US dollar. And you could see here that we are playing off this long multi-month, one year trend line, right? Price tried to, to sneak above it over here and has since been rejected. This was the area that we first look and we were waiting. We never really got a chance to get short this pair. It was very tricky to play. Let's see we where we are right now. I actually got short over here uh, Thursday during the London session. Uh, that short is still holding. There was a breakout. Let me draw this in for you while you're with me. You can see over here this nice little bull, uh, bear, bear flag pattern. You can see that nice little bear flag, right? So you saw price break through this double support over here. It resumed downwards, and then you had this continuation, this bearish pattern, this bear flag. Price is broken out of it. We're down now. We have the true trend short. This resistance right above us, and we're looking over here at 0.6742 for a take profit zone. Again, we always look to see how price reacts around support and resistance levels. When it breaks through them, it tends to break through them with force. Otherwise, price begins to stall out and begin bouncing off of. That's when we take profits. Right now, we're just waiting. We have, we have resistance, double resistance up here at 0.86375, and then above this trend line right here, the trend is down, we're short. We're gonna see how price reacts over here at this level. Looks like if we do get that momentum to carry through from Friday over to here, that will be a good area to take profit because sticking with the Euro US dollar right now looks like the better trade. Aussie is showing actually a little bit of strength against the dollar. You can see this consolidation happening over here. And if the trade doesn't continue moving in favor, it's time to get out of it. All right, the pound US dollar has a lot of action going on right now. This is one to watch going early into the week. It looks like we could be breaking down out of this breakout over here. And it looks like if we do and we get below this area over here, we have this, this, this support right here, the support from this trend line, and then this support over here. If we're able to get below that, we have a nice trade down to here to look for a take profit. Can't get short yet. There's three support levels right here that we're playing off of. We need to wait this out. You could see that if we just zoom out a little bit, you could see price was rejected here with this, what looks like a triple top off of this resistance going way back to July, held over here all through March and April, February, March and April. And then right now it was trouble again. Price didn't make, didn't hold this breakout. It looks like it's being rejected. This could turn, obviously, uh, we'll find out early on, on during London, but it looks like we're gonna break down. It looks like we need to watch for a breakdown. Let's look on the eight hour. You could see it here a little more clearly. If you, you have, we're right now at the support of this trend line from the breakout, and that's, that could hold, and if it does, that is pretty bullish. But you also have this trend line up here, and then this support, if you get below this support here, right? You had the false breakout over there, it didn't hold. Below that level of that false breakout is 1.2767. If we get below that level, that is a that looks like a phenomenal short where we should get some further continuation at least to this area to look for our take profit. So that's the one we're watching to develop over here. How do we get into the trade? First, we wait for the breakdown. If we get the, for the breakdown, we're gonna wait for the entry CCI to come up. We're gonna be testing the broken support, which would then hold as resistance. That's the entry we'll look for, and then we'll see how that develops. So this is a trade that's going towards the top of the list early in the week. Uh, hopefully, come New York Monday morning, we're gonna have a nice look at this and be able to enter into this trade. All right, Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, let's take a look. We're at a pretty 
pretty critical inflection point. You can see right now we're testing the lower end of this channel right here, and it looks like we could get a breakdown. If we get a breakdown, we have a little bit of room before we're looking for a take profit. Let's look at this. Here we are in the eight hour, and you can see price is really resting right on top of that lower end support of this trend line. Is it gonna break down? Well, we're gonna find out really soon. Uh, there is the possibility that price, the support holds here. If we get any yen strength early in the week, we're gonna break down here. We have, ha we have a lot, look at this. You just have all these lower highs right here. The momentum is definitely keeping this. Uh, adversely, all right, adversely you need to watch. If this support does hold and we get above this trend line, we are absolutely going long the Canadian dollar, Japanese yen. That's gonna be a nice trade to look at. But we're at this beautiful point in time right now. We're at this inflection point where either this, this uh, trend line right here is gonna break down or it's gonna hold and offers us a lot of opportunity. It's not the moment to pounce on this. You need to watch this really, really early in the week. This is one that's gonna to go to the top of our list. We're gonna be watching it. We're, I'll keep you updated on this and we'll keep looking for an entry. Do we wait for the, if we do go long for the true trend to turn positive, what we're gonna wait for is a break of this trend line. After the break of the trend line, we will wait for the price to pull back by that time and then as it resumes, you're gonna see the true trend is also gonna be turning positive. But we'll look at it, we'll look at it because it's not really black and white. We might play this one technically. Uh, I'll keep you updated on it as it develops or as well as if it breaks down. But this pair is in play today, that's why I wanted to add it to the weekly review. I also wanna take a moment to take a look at the Euro, Australian dollar with you right now. Let's go, we're gonna drop down to the eight hour time frame and get a nice look at this. You could see right now, two things. You could see that we're traded in this blue zone here, this congestion zone. And right here, down here, we have support. The lower end of that blue square is support. You could see this support, 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 broken, broken again, support, support, and we're about to test down below there. And you could see over here, we have buy, buy entry criteria. True trend is up. Entry CCI is oversold in this uptrend, pulled back, ready to spring back. Let's see what happens if this support holds and price starts making a higher high than the previous price bar on this, on this eight hour time frame here, where it looks like we have a nice long entry to go ahead and take. We're gonna see what happens and how this plays out, but I like the fact that we're trading down to this support right now, and I like the fact that we have the true trend positive with the entry CCI pullback as we reach that support that normally provides a good opportunity. Now the range is what? We're looking at 1.62 to 1.63. It is 100 pips, right? By the time we get into the entry though, I don't know, it might be smaller. You do have resistance up here. I don't know if we'll make it to the higher end of this bound, but first we're gonna wait and see what happens. We're gonna wait to see how price reacts over here. What happens if we break down what happens if we break down from the support? Well, if this support breaks right here, you can also notice the true trend is crossing over. The way that we're gonna play that, again, this is a nice tradable moment because the opportunity for a long or short should present itself. Probably I would, I would, I would imagine either during London or New York on Monday, if this breaks down, don't chase the breakdown, wait for it, wait for it, wait for this entry CCI to come back up and wait for a price to test the breakdown. Make sure that this broken support then provides resistance. For example, over here, when this resistance was broken and then price came down and tested the support, as price resumed back up, that's the safe entry. That's where we're gonna look for if price breaks down to the downside. This is our weekly Forex forecast analyst and review for the upcoming week. I look forward to sharing more with you during this week. Again, we're live streaming every day at nine in the morning. You could watch the replays if you can't join us for the live stream. Really developing a nice community. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we welcome you. We're growing rapidly. We've grown about 60% in the past month and we just continue doing our best to share what insight we're able with you and connect. Look forward to sharing more with you. Have a great day, everyone.